An apology tonight from the State Transportation Department after yesterday's H1 flooding snarled traffic for hours. Our Eddie Dowd has more on what caused the problem and the changes being made to prevent it from happening again. The DOT says it was construction work that was blocking critical drainage systems along the H1 here in town that caused some of that major flooding. But people we talked to say it's not the first time they've seen scenes like we saw on Sunday. It wasn't even a freeway anymore. It's like a river. I think it's one of the worst experiences I've ever um, had driving on a freeway. That was July 2016. Nearly seven years later, it happened again. It's like a flashback, like, oh, no, it's happening again. The DOT says both flooding events on the H1 were caused by the same thing. It's those socks that you see that block the, the storm drains in that area uh, so that debris from construction doesn't go in it. Of course, because that those socks block water that goes through to filter out um, the materials that we don't want in our, sto in our storm drains, it also restricts some of the storm drainage um, capacity. The DOT says if it knows the storm is coming, it can have the contractor remove the drainage blockers in advance. They say on Sunday it was caught off guard. We didn't anticipate any heavy storms in the Oahu area. The department says it is now changing its policy to prevent major flooding like Sundays from happening. If the contractor is not working out on H1, they're going to be removing their BMPs. Um, they're going to do that more often. So, it's, of course, the cost of construction is going to go up a bit. The change in policy will add around $50,000 in cost to the current construction project on the H1 since crews will have to remove the equipment blocking the drain every day and reinstall it the next day. In this situation, if the contractor were on site when these types of rains came through, they could have, they could have pulled them immediately. Those who think their cars were damaged in the H1 flooding can submit a claim to the state. You can find the link on Hawaii News Now. And the DOT wants to reiterate to the public that the H1 system is designed to handle that amount of rain we saw in that short amount of time. It's just because those drainage systems were blocked, that's why we saw the flooding and believe the changes it will be making will prevent it from happening again. Reporting over the H1, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.